Timothy goes to school. There he is getting his fur brushed. Timothy's mother made him a brand new sunsuit for the first day of school. Hooray, said Timothy. Timothy went to school in his new sunsuit with his new book and his new pencil. Good morning, said Timothy. Good morning, said Mrs. Jenkins. Timothy, said Mrs. Jenkins, this is Claude. Claude, this is Timothy. I'm sure you'll be the best of friends. Hello, said Timothy. Nobody wears a sunsuit on the first day of school, said Claude. During playtime, Timothy hoped and hoped that Claude would fall into a puddle, but he didn't. When Timothy came home, his mother asked, how was school today? Nobody wears a sunsuit on the first day of school, said Timothy. I will make you a beautiful new jacket, said Timothy's mother. Timothy wore his new jacket the next day. Hello, said Timothy to Claude. You're not supposed to wear party clothes on the second day of school, said Claude. All day, Timothy wanted and wanted Claude to make a mistake, but he didn't. When Timothy got home, his mother asked, how did it go? You're not supposed to wear party clothes on the second day of school, said Timothy. Don't worry, said Timothy's mother. Tomorrow you just wear something in between like everyone else. The next day, Timothy went to school in his favorite shirt. Look, said Timothy, you are wearing the same shirt I am. No, said Claude, you are wearing the same shirt that I am. During lunch, Timothy wished and wished that Claude would have to eat all alone. But he didn't. After school, Timothy's mother could not find Timothy. Where are you? she called. I'm never going back to school, said Timothy. Why not? called his mother. Because Claude is the smartest and the best at everything, and he has all the friends, said Timothy. You'll feel better in your new football shirt, said Timothy's mother. Timothy did not feel better in his new football shirt. That morning, Claude played the saxophone. I can't stand it anymore, said a voice next to Timothy. It was Violet. You can't stand what? Timothy asked Violet. Grace, said Violet. She sings, she dances, she counts up to a thousand, and she sits next to me. During playtime, Timothy and Violet stayed together. Violet said, I can't believe you've been here all along. Will you come home and have cookies with me after school? Timothy asked. On the way home, Timothy and Violet laughed so much about Claude and Grace that they both got the hiccups. That was Timothy Goes to School. <laughs>